Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ian with ianbluemusic.com. Today, we're going to be going over Manny Marroquin's Triple D plugin by Waves. All right, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible, but what Triple D is is a multi-band vocal compressor. Okay, but you can use it on other instruments. You can use it on guitar or maybe even drums, piano, but uh, maybe especially acoustic guitar. That's what I've found myself using it on. But uh, honestly, I use this on every vocal track I do. It was a plugin that I didn't know I needed until I got it. It's one of those things that I could never tell someone or no one could ever tell me, no, you need a, a deboxy, deharsher, DSC. DS or plugin, like that's not something that I would even know to think that I would need, but it's so critical to getting a really rich sounding vocal. Um, you can get the similar effect with a multi band compressor, but this just makes it so much easier. So I'm going to go over some of the controls. The input is your input gain, how hot you want the signal coming through. The output is how hot you want the signal coming out. I really don't touch those too much. And then the main part of the plugin, pretty simple. You've got the deboxy, which is you can use these solo buttons to hear what's actually happening. And if I play this vocal track, I'll play it regular. If I left your house right now, would you even notice if I put my feet? All right, and you can hear by soloing it out. If I left your house right now. Those low mids, the it creates that boxiness sound. You need those frequencies in a good vocal track, don't get me wrong, but if it's booming or if it's too loud in certain points, it's going to sound a little bit uh, muddy, and you really just want to have those parts squashed down. So that's what this does. It compresses those frequencies. And you can solo it. You can select which frequency you really want to attack. So I kind of like that pretty low sound right there. Um, and then you can mess with the, it's like a threshold gain selector. You kind of want it peaking in the orange every once in a while. But again, there's really no numbers associated with this. It's not like I can tell you a specific frequency or, um, you know, I can't say, you know, at 400 hertz, it's got an indicator number down there, but it's not associated with anything. And I can't tell you, you know, go to the four to one ratio. It's just, they're just knobs. It kind of makes it a little bit more easy to be experimental and really use your ears when um, working with this plugin. All right, so we can work our way up the line if I solo out the D harsher. Those are those sounds that it's uh, when it's on a loud system or it's on headphones and you turn it up too loud and it's just uh, just harsh. The vocals just, they hurt your ears. That's what this is taking care of. So, again. This particular take is uh, a little bit harder on those, um, I'm sorry, a little bit more harsh in those those high mids, that's kind of what this attacks in, so I'm sliding a little bit higher to get uh, what I want to hear reduced. And then last but not least, the esser, and you probably know what this is, taking care of the ch and the sounds. I have this one maxed out. Um, and then I also have another de -er after it from Waves. So um, I love, love de -essing these vocals. Anyway, so that should give you the overview of how to use this plugin. Ultimately, use your ears. It's experimental, but that should give you enough of an overview to just jump right in. I use this on all my vocal tracks, and I use it on some instrumental tracks as well. Um, it's a really important plugin, one I didn't know I needed. So if you don't have it, Go ahead and pick it up. It's it's pretty affordable, and it comes with some of the Waves vocal packs. And if you do have it, I hope you put it to good use. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.